a the guy who said it was on site at TwitchCon if he saw Destiny. I dealt with kids like this all the time at high school. And what if I want the satisfaction? As an adult, you have to at some point respond, but keeping it to say shit about character and not physically is great. I mean, listen, all I'm saying is on site, you know, we all have different ways that we react, you know? So I would I'm not say it's on site if I see Destiny at TwitchCon again. I'm just saying, you know, it probably wouldn't be on site, honestly. I think one thing I'll have, a, I need to have a larger conversation about tomorrow. I'm inspired by the Israeli sh okay? is a concept of, of like deterrence. I think that people, I feel like if people are willing to make comments like this online, that's fine, but I think they should be afraid to do so. And I don't know if that's something I want to engage in. This is like a extreme online <laughs> tactics or whatever, but um, I'm deeply uncomfortable with the idea that like multiple people are feel safe and secure in essentially making like threats of physical violence about me on platforms that are like harboring it. Um, that's, this is like a, this is a wild, it's like a wild world uh, right now. Um, I don't know if this takes the form of like hosting people's information or what has to happen, but like the idea that people think that they can like say sh like this is unhinged to me. Um, but I don't know like what, a, what an appropriate response looks like. Uh, I don't think I can sue Twitch for any of it. I don't, I'm a criminal lawyer for them hosting this or whatever, but um, this type of stuff, like I don't mind people making death threats or statements like that. I think it's fine. Um, <clears throat> go for it. But like there should be, you should expect something in exchange for that. You should expect... <laughs> Like, if I threatened that I'm going to kill some dude, okay, I would expect this dude's, like, got his eyes on me now. There's, like, some shit going on, which is fine, okay? That's the agreement that we make when we engage in this type of rhetoric. I don't like that people feel like they can say stuff like this safely. I think this is unhinged and insane. This is, like, the fifth person, I think. I don't know if I need to make a compilation of clips. Like, is this the fifth person that's made, like, basically, like, threats of physical violence or talking about killing my family or that they wish my family was dead? Um... How, what was it? It was that one black dude. It was the mic. Um... If he said the N word on stream with his own face, can somebody just like it would just be so easy to just it would save, like solve all of our problems. Like we would have socialism now at this point, right? We would have socialism at this point if somebody just went out of their way and it would be so easy. This is what happens when you don't kill every single slave owner after slavery. They have children and their children have children and their children have children and then their children have accidents that should have ended up on a sock and it becomes destiny. This guy, was there some other weird lefty dude? I need to start, I think I feel like I should save these. I should be saving these clips somewhere. Isn't this reportable? Caroline Quant? I think, didn't Caroline just say like, I think he shouldn't exist or something? I don't know if that's... But like comments like if I see him, like I would beat him up or I'd fight him or something or like on site, I'm going to take this dude out or whatever. Um, get him banned. No, I, it's not about banning. Also, Twitch doesn't care. They don't enforce any of this. Like none of it matters. So yeah, I probably wouldn't notice him while I'm tripping over him because he's so f***ing short. I'd like him to come to TwitchCon and we'll see what happens. I have enough. I could afford all the lawyers. This depends. It's not like the attacks against me are rooted in any type this of This is the clip I was looking for foundation yeah i'm sure everyone is terrified of this guy i mean look at his look at his physique dude it's marvelous it's magnificent yeah dude he's got like easy 50 pounds on destiny what do you mean easy 50 pounds he's he's bloat maxing he's, that's not when people talk about having weight on somebody they're not just talking about like you being an, an actual perfect circle <laughs> usually weight implies more equal distribution than just your midsection and usually it implies height and reach but okay Descendants may be, they have nothing to do with slavery. It is ridiculous to even insinuate that anything should happen to anyone who's a descendant of, you know, slave owners. You don't owe- No. That is not what he's saying. What he is saying, because he understands this, but for anyone who is a little confused, Sean is not saying that. Sean is saying that destiny is a consequence of what happens when you don't wipe slavery clean from this earth. When you do not wipe clean the entire families and lineage of all slave owners, eventually their kids will go on to have more kids. Eventually you get gusanos. You get, you know, people who... Like, this is, like, unhinged. Like, if you're saying stuff like this, you should expect to get fully doxxed at least. Like, this is, this is like, unhinged comments to me. I, but I think it's because it's about, like, a white person, or maybe it's just me, or because it's from a left-leaning person, like... You just don't, like, it's just like a whatever thing. It's like a throwaway thing. These are unhinged comments.
Like if I'm if I'm speaking like this, I would expect to be getting like perma banned from like any fucking platform. If I'm talking about like this is why this dude's entire family needs to be killed to prevent you know crackers or racial slur or whatever the fuck being born or is it's like these are wild statements. Eventually, their kids will go on to have more kids. Eventually, you get gusanos. You get you know people who say, "Oh man." I was a refugee from Castro because they stole my family's land. And that's why I hate communism. What was your family's land being used for? Oh, y you know, farming. Interesting. What happened to the people working the farm? Uh, well, I mean, lots of stuff. Remember when I said I hated communism because... Castro stole farmland from my family. Hassan, uh, if this somehow makes it to you... Veiled calls to violence are the least repulsive clips I've seen from this guy. Um, hey, Hassan, uh, if this somehow makes it to you, uh, happy birthday. Um, been a long-time uh, community member. Have been able to grow here in this space. Uh, everyone here is a Hasanabi head, and we love your content. Uh, chat gets you down sometimes, and the, the bullshit that comes with being the largest leftist political streamer in the West or the world, really, uh, comes with a lot of baggage. But you take it on, and we appreciate you for that. And all the content that you create for us, uh, Bring Back 90 Day Fiance and MasterChef, my wife will not stop talking about it. Uh, happy birthday, and uh, from the Gremlo community, we love you. Peace. Explicit violent threats are literally illegal. You should really report anyone who does this to the police. No, nothing that he says here, none of this would like pass uh, Brandenburg. I, I think you need like a specific call to violence um, and it has to be imminent. Like you gotta say like, guys, like tomorrow we're gonna go and beat the shit out of it. It has to be more specific than they're making it. It's general enough that like somebody could kill me and they could all clap, but it's not, I don't think it would be specific enough for it to be illegal. Uh, and we can look up the... Isn't it just harassment if they repeatedly call for violence? Why not send a cease and desist? Because what, what am I going to do? I'm not going to sue them. I'm, what would I sue them for? <laughs> um, the Brandenburg test, um, so the two prongs are the speech is directed to inciting or producing imminent lawless action, and it is likely to incite or produce such an action. Um, I don't know if his, these types of threats that these people are making are, um, I don't know if they would pass either prongs of this test. Yeah, but it is way over the line for literally any TOS. Well, yeah, but Twitch, yeah, Twitch doesn't give a fuck if it's directed towards me. Is Brandenburg applicable to what you were saying you yourself will do? No, I, Brandenburg is, I think, um, it's it's about speech that is inciting other people. This is what you would use for, like, an incitement thing, I believe. It was established to determine when inflammatory speech intended to advocate illegal action can be restricted. Wouldn't Trump's January 6th rally fall here? Maybe, but they didn't even want to try testing that. Um, because that's a very hairy First Amendment issue, so he's not being charged with incitement in any of his major cases.